Your comeback is going to shock millions of people. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, your comeback will shock millions of people. OK, now don't underestimate the power of God because he can put you in front of so many people. He can put you on so many platforms. He can allow you to express your gift, express the way you felt, express the things that you've been through in front of so many people. Understand something, y'all. Your comeback will shock the world, shock many people and shock millions. All right. And so with that being said, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get directly into this video, but before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, alright, and y'all share this video, y'all, don't be stingy with the message, alright, and so let's go ahead and get directly into it, so number one, okay, the reason of why your comeback will shock millions of people, it's going to be this chosen one, you caught them off guard, yes sir, let me say it louder, for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you caught them off guard. Now, what does that look like? That simply means that the timing was off. Not off for God or you, but off for them. See, like, they didn't understand the fact that at some point, God will exalt his chosen. At some point, God will exalt, you know, those who are worthy of being exalted. And so they didn't understand that your promotion, you know, it was right around the corner. See, they you caught them off guard because you probably was a certain individual or a certain person, you know, uh, who they once knew. Me Meaning you was broke at the time. Meaning you didn't have as much. Meaning you was homeless. Meaning you was trying to figure out where you was going to go, how you was going to do it, and who you was going to do it with. You was trying to figure it out. I need y'all to realize something. That comeback going to hit hard. Somebody drop in the comments and say comeback season. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say comeback season. I know I'm talking to somebody. Y'all make sure y'all share this message. Okay? Now, understand this right here, y'all. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1 says this right here, family. It says, Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles, okay? Understand something, y'all. Uh, you are the one who will bring justice to the world. You are the one who will bring justice to nations. You are the one who was chosen. And see, you caught them off guard because they wasn't expecting it at this particular time. See, timing is everything. <laughs> Somebody drop in the comments and say timing is everything. And see, I tell people all the time, y'all, you know, we can't time out God's timing. Okay. One day with Jehovah, one day with Yahweh, one day with God, it's a thousand years. So there's no way that we'll be able to time out, you know, the things that he want to do for us. See, your comeback is going to shock millions of people. Your comeback is going to shock the world. All right understand that family and so we're going to go ahead and get off to the next one y'all number two they wrote you off mm -hmm. let me say it once again y'all louder for my chosen ones in the back listen family they wrote you off <laughs> you know what it means to you know for a person to write you off that means that they threw you in the trash yep that mean they said he ain't going to be nobody. She ain't going to be nobody. All she going to do is be a teacher. Yes, sir. All she going to do. And by the way, y'all, there's nothing wrong with being a teacher, too. OK, I'm just saying when God uh, exalts you, that means that he is exalting you. You went from a teacher to being a professor. Y'all follow what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. But anyway, y'all, um, that means that he has exalted you, you know, from that level that they seen you at to a whole another level. And so they wrote you off. They wrote you off. They already had them saying he ain't going to be nothing. She ain't going to do nothing. She ain't nothing but a stripper. He ain't nothing but a dope seller. He ain't nothing but, you know, somebody who always asking for money. Not realizing that every dog have their day. And so if we living in this world, okay, or if we live in this thing called life, at some point we will fall short. At, at some point we will fall down, y'all. But it says in the Bible, y'all, that we're going to fall down seven, but we must get up eight understand something y'all they wrote you off because they thought that you wasn't gonna ever amount to anything they said that she had a baby out of wedlock she can't do anything they said that she had a baby by the same dude this the third time she ain't learned her lesson yet 
Understand something, y'all. They wrote you off. <laughs> I know I'm talking to somebody. See, when a person writes you off, I won't even take it personal. See, they only did what they didn't know, right? Like, they didn't know who you was going to become. They didn't know what you was going to accomplish. They didn't know what you was going to achieve, right? Like, y'all, I heard Steve Harvey say this one time. He said, if God said that you was going to be a millionaire uh, this year, it would alleviate the most important ingredient of that whole equation. What is that? That's faith, right? See, if you if God had already said that you're going to be a million uh, on this particular day, February 25th, 2024, you wouldn't need faith. Right. So what you would do, you would write everybody off. And so you got to look at it in this particular situation. Like if a person knew who you was going to be, if a person knew who you was going to be, if a person knew what you was going to do in life, they would not write you off. But see, it will alleviate the most important ingredient. What is that? That's faith. See, they would they wouldn't need to have faith in you anymore. They wouldn't need to believe in you anymore. They wouldn't need to be genuine anymore. All they got to do is just act like, right? Go for the ride, right? Act like they are somebody that's close to you, right? And so once you get to the destination, they can get what they're going to get from you or use you as long as they can use you, drain you as long as they can drain you, and then they're going to go about their business and just leave you where you are, okay? Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? Somebody drop in the comments and say, God got me. Yes, sir. Listen, y'all, this is your comeback season. Your comeback season is about to shock the world. It's about to shock people. It's about to shock family. It's about to shock friends. It's about to shock everybody. Y'all got to follow what I'm saying. And so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, family. Uh, number three, they spread it rumors, lies, and slandered you. Yes, sir. Let me say it once again, y'all. They spread their rumors, lies, and slandered you. Mm. Now, that's one of those things, y'all, where they have to look at themselves every day inside the mirror and say, I said that about this young man. I said that about this young woman. I said this about this lady. I said this about whoever, y'all. This is when they got to sit here and they got to reality check themselves because now they see that you done came up. Now they see that you have made it through that struggle. All you needed was some time. All you needed was a little help. All you needed was a little assistance. And they took that moment where they could have lent you the help in hand and they gave you their foot. They gave you their foot. Follow what I'm saying, y'all. This right here is your comeback season. So right here, y'all, in James chapter 4, verse 11, it says this right here, family. It says, do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. It's not healthy to judge people like you don't know who going to be who. Right. You don't know who carrying what. You don't know who going to write the next best selling book. You don't know who going to do something great in life. You don't know who about to be on TV next and they get that big break. You don't know who is about to blow up. You don't know who. But what we do, y'all, we tend to treat people who we think are not worthy of our time, worthy of our kindness, worthy of our compassion like nothing. We treat them like nothing. And and when I say we, y'all, I mean uh, as a people, right? I'm not saying you and me, but just as a people. But realize what I'm saying, y'all. Your comeback season is about to be tremendous, right? But see, in the past, y'all, they have spread their rumors about you. They spread their lies about you. They said things that they know wasn't true. But they just wanted to tarnish and ruin your reputation. Somebody drop in the comments and say, you won't ruin me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say you won't ruin me. I need y'all to realize something. Your comeback will shock the world, people, and millions of individuals. I'm telling y'all, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, y'all, which is number four. And that's going to be God blessed you abundantly in front of everybody. Now, y'all know this right here is one of my favorite scriptures, y'all. This right here is one of my favorite. And so right here, y'all, in Psalm chapter 23, verse 5, it says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Mm. Well, now, what does that mean? 
That means that everybody who doubted you, everybody who lied, everybody who slandered, everybody who told rumors about you, everybody who said things about you that wasn't true, everybody who thought that you wasn't going to become successful, everybody thought that you wasn't going to get out that jam, everybody who thought that you wasn't going to ever get back on your feet, those same people have no choice but to watch you eat in front of their face. Them same people have no choice but to watch you eat in front of their face. I need y'all to realize something. God has blessed you abundantly in front of them. See, they thought that they had the ups on you. Yeah. They thought that they had the drop on you. See, they thought that they were so superior to you until God showed them who's boss. Yes, sir. Understand something, y'all. Your comeback season is about to shock the world. Millions in each and every individual. God is about to make them feel you. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? This is your comeback season. <laughs> and so we're going to go ahead and get to the last one, y'all, which is number five. Okay? And that's they won't believe is you. Right? They won't believe is you. Y'all, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one right here, y'all, because it's self-explanatory, right? Like, they won't believe what God has done with your life, okay? They won't believe the transformation that you have been through. They won't believe that, oh, it's you. You wearing suits now, okay? That's you on TV. That's you, you know, speaking articulately. That's you speaking eloquently. That is you, right? Like, a lot of times, y'all, when you reinvent yourself, sometimes you have to reintroduce yourself. Let me say that once again, in case y'all missed it. A lot of times, y'all, when you reinvent yourself, a lot of times you have to reintroduce yourself because, see, they don't know how to take you anymore. They don't know how to speak to you. They don't know how to talk to you. They don't know what you like, what you dislike. They can't believe it's you. <laughs> they can't believe it's you. And so all I'm simply saying, y'all, is this right here. Your comeback season, your comeback, everything about you will shock the world. Everything about you will shock millions. Everything about you will shock people. They won't be able to believe it. It's going to be almost like they seeing Jesus come back himself. It's going to be almost like they seeing a ghost walk through their house. They're going to be scared. All right. Understand what I'm saying, y'all. Your comeback. It's going to shock them, all right? And so if this message resonated with you, y'all make sure y'all share this video. Y'all make sure y'all don't be stingy with the message, okay? Also, y'all, if y'all would like to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation, y'all make sure y'all click the link in my description. My book, same thing goes. My course, same thing goes, as well as my Patreon and my YouTube membership, okay? But I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality